Okay, so chapter 22 is called Fake It Until You Make It. So here are our objectives for this chapter. Um, we're going to talk about some ways for you to just, you know, sort of grow and learn through and deal with things even though you maybe don't want to. So faking it until you making it um, has to do with you uh, being in a situation where you're required to do something, you're required to take a class, but you don't really want to do it. So kind of like um, your assignment that you had for last week. Even though you don't want to do something, it's still going to be important for you to do it, to have the right attitude, to have a positive attitude so that you are able to accomplish the task and just you know check that box and say, I'm done with this and I don't have to do it again. So one way you can fake it till you make it is to act as if, um, according to the author of our textbook. So acting as if is um, you acting as if you're doing something exactly way, the way you want it to be done. So the author tells us that the more we act as if we are who we want to be, then we'll eventually become that person. So basically, it's like putting on that hat saying, okay, I want to be a doctor. Okay, I need to start acting like a doctor now so that when I um, actually need to accomplish that, it's a lot easier for me. So there are apparently four steps of faking it until you make it. So let's talk about those four steps. Step one, you first need to gener generate a list of thoughts, feelings, and fears. So list out all of the things, sort of, you know, whatever is on your mind, whatever you fear, whatever you feel, whatever you think. And then also think about all the things that might be holding you back from accomplishing all the things you want to accomplish. So you write down everything, what's holding you back, what's sort of standing in your way. Then the second step is to wave the magic wand. So what would things look like if that you lived in a perfect world and things were exactly the way you wanted it to be? So if you look at your list that you've created of all your fears and what you most want to accomplish, if you could make, wave a magic wand, what would things look like for you to make those things perfect? Then step three, you want to create a new list of new ways of thinking. So you want to list your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors that you could engage in to counteract any of the negative fears and the negative thoughts you had in step one. So basically, you know, that's reworking your thoughts and rethinking it in a positive way. And then step four is to fake it until you make it. So now that you've figured out what you need to do to be successful, you need to think, feel, and act particularly in that way. Those are the four steps to faking it until you make it. Okay, another term you need to know about when it comes to faking it until you make it is paradoxical intention. And that is when we in, intending to create a paradox. So that's a conflicting way of living with a preconceived notion. So when you fake it until you make it, you create that paradox. You have to make the choice to be different. So paradoxical intention is when you specifically behave in a way that's opposite of what your original thought was so you fake it you know okay i'm not a doctor yet but i sure am gonna act like one so you're faking it so that that will become your reality and the last thing you need to know about is a psychological term it's called a self-fulfilling prophecy and that is predicting or expecting something and having that prediction come true because you behave in a way that makes that come true so basically what a self-fulfilling prophecy is, is it's something that um, tells us that people's beliefs about something influence their actions. So I always tell students when it comes to a self-fulfilling prophecy, think about, um, okay, if you're going in and you're taking a test and you think to yourself, I'm not going to do well on this test, or this class is too hard for me, then what's going to happen? You probably aren't going to practice you probably aren't going to rehearse you probably aren't going to study so what in what in turn is going to happen on that test you probably are going to fail it not because you couldn't pass it because of a self-fulfilling prophecy because you believed you wouldn't do well and then in turn you didn't prepare to do well so it caused you not to do well but that has nothing to do with your ability to do well just that you didn't put in the effort so that is everything you need to know for chapter 20 two.